Alright, I finished embering everything, and I'm ready to go to Eternal Tower. So I'm sort of excited for this one because uh, Top Nun Hit told me in chat, like, have you been to rank as Eternal Tower, or I think you call it like Ghost and Psychic type land or something, but something to that effect yet. And I said, why? What is interesting in it? And he said, maybe, you won't know. And I don't actually remember how the conversation went anymore, but I do think he mentioned it, and I want to see what it has in it. Because apparently he's speedrunning the entire starting game and not beating its very simple campaign in several, several days like I am. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop. Pop, 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 pop. Why do these stupid legendary birds die so fast? Why did I get two Nido Kings and not two anything else? I want to Alakazam a lot more than Nidoking. King. What does Nidoking King mean anyway? I mean, I understand the King part, obviously, but what does Nido mean? I thought I remembered it reading it meant something in some language, or in... Yeah, probably in some language. It probably just didn't have some innate values assigned to it. But, um... I thought it meant something, although I don't remember what or why I thought that. Someone explain in the comments what it's a reference or not a reference. Well, I mean, most Pokemon names are. What is that? But most Pokemon names are puns, or not puns necessarily, but. Like, mixes of two words, or one word in some cases, like Alakazam. So, um, yes, I will not rest until I have been this explained to me. And do I want to do. Th I think Double Kick is better. Yeah, I like double kick okay. I mean, I really don't like the whole Nido King, but uh, whatever. I want a Gengar really bad. Did I just bounce? Okay, yes, yeah, a Gengar really bad. Yeah. Sucker Punch and Mean Look. That's not the best, but I guess it'll be super effective. And that is not a Gengar. Well, I guess the ones that are attacking me are Gengars, but I'm not. Oh, well, at least it didn't kill me. Oh hey, Alakazam too. It's like the ancient Pokemon all up in here. Is that Bone Meringue? Because Bone Meringue is extremely rad if that's Bone Meringue. And Psybeam seems very promising, but I want to use that Gengar. It's not very strong, I guess, but... Sucker Punch should be super effective on them, because I totally understand super effective's right. So does Sucker Punch actually do anything involving suckers, or is it just like used to randomly sign in a dark type because you have to be a jerk to hit someone? while they're a sucker, and wow, apparently Psychic is still super effective when it goes, but I have absolutely no idea how that goes. It keeps changing every generation and every patch, and it's confusing to me, and I want to see how Psybeam works. I don't even want to see it. It works very nicely compared to other Psychic attacks, and I like how Shadow Battle bounces off. It's sort of like that last thing that bounced off. What was it? Execute move, Barrage. I think Barrage might be an Execute exclusive move, or maybe Chance he can learn it. I think it involves eggs too much for most stuff to learn it, though, which is okay because it's not really a remarkable move. They should make some skeleton Pokemon that can learn Bone Club and Bone Meringue. I think they're exclusive to Q-Bones and Marowax as of now, but really, I don't know. Rage, Headbutt. What good moves when they have the really great projectile bones and stuff. Whatever, I'm just gonna slam through this. Maybe this Gengar won't be as underpowered. Uh, maybe this Gengar won't be as underpowered. It's slightly less underpowered than the last one. I guess that's good. Why can't I catch any of these Eevees when I would assume I would want many? And you know what? I'm going with this one with Ghost-type moves, even though I don't know if it's as good as the other one. Ghost is super effective on Ghost, if I recall correctly, although I still don't really understand how super effectivity works in this game. And I'm glad I'm guarding Yes, I'm glad I'm guarding a lot of Gengars because I like Gengar. Pow pow. Oh hey, Zapdos randomly appears here. Why does Zapdos randomly appear here? Pow, 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 pow. I like how I have to totally be careful during this fight to not totally get hit by everything it does. I can't just mash two and damage it decent amounts while not taking any damage apparently. So am I going to get the complete set? Holy crap, I actually got the complete set. Do they have a better chance or is it just because I've caught sodding everything in this? Holy crap, it's a perky Zapdos. That sounds slightly erotic. I'm, I want to see what it does. What does perky mean? And holy crap, it actually doesn't have horrible lame moves. 
as a horrible lame-ish move, but I think Thundershock is a lot better than Icy Wind and Ember, and it looked like it had sunglasses when its eyes were closed. Do I want to go through this? Yeah, probably. What was the boss of this? It was something that killed me really quickly, and it was relatively boring. So, unless I can get some Tangles, I already have like a thousand billion of those. Okay, Tangela, I don't know. I think I already have a thousand. Oh, Brawny Tangela. That actually has a lot of step, a lot of level two, so I'll probably, that'll probably be helpful for the championship. And this Zapdos is already doing a much better job for itself than the other two legendary birds. I always sort of like Zapdos the best anyway, because I only, I tended to get lost in the Seafoam Islands and Victory Road and got Zapdos first. And I always just like the power plant. And, I don't know, Zapdos was useful for killing the plentiful water types of the first generation. And I think Thunder and Thunder Shock and whatever were just generally better than... I don't know, I think actually Articuno was another favorite, but that's because Ice types have always been overpowered. Or like the Psychic types, except as more types appeared, they became more powerful instead of less powerful. Because basically... Not counting Dark and Steel as new types, they basically, when they started spamming Dragon types in the 4th and, or 3rd and 4th generations, Ice became a lot more viable, when it was already pretty viable, I guess. I don't know, there weren't really any two good ground types in the 1st generation, so it wasn't quite as drastic there, because basically the 1st generation, competitively, was just like, if you're an Uber tire, Mewtwo, 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 because Mewtwo was the best, but, and Special was really overpowered, because, like, Calm Mind or whatever would or all growth acted like Calm Mind does because it raised both your special attack and special defense. And I'm gonna use one of the speedy. I wonder what Solar Beam acts like. That's pretty cool. And I think my speediness makes it go faster. I can't can't really tell. I would assume it does more than just physical speed. Although I don't know. Ditto. Ah, oh, I can never get that ditto. I'm just like Team Rocket and a Pikachu. Exactly like it. And. Why is Vine Whip a spray? That was Vine Whip, right? Yes, why is Vine Whip a spray? That seems really weird. I would've... I would've pegged that as one of the scribbly things. I still like how it attacks, though. It's sort of unique. How it goes diagonal. I thought that killed me for a second from how the... noise made. But no super effective things on... what I assume is a relatively weak Pokémon, I don't know. I don't think Victory Bell is particularly notable. That's good times for everyone, right? Okay, this is going much faster now for some reason. I like this speedy... I like speedy everything, but particularly the speedy Victor Bell is very nice. I mean, that Charmeleon was nice back in the old days, but I have moved on to bigger and greater things. I like Solar Beam. I don't know if it just doesn't take as long as I expected it to normally or if it's because it's speedy, but either way, it seems to be a very effective attack at 1-hit KOing everything, except now I'm getting gang raped by a bunch of Pidgeots. And I'm going to want to switch out. I want to see how that brawny tangle works out. Shockwave. That, I like how the special things have like much cooler movesets anyway. Is that Hidden Power Grass? That's cool. It still gets stabbed or something, probably. Ow. Yeah, Shockwave is pretty good here, although, as I've said numerous times, I still have no idea how the sodding uh, types work in this game. The presence of the X guard implies that resistances really aren't encountered. And I mean, the fact that ghost types are perfectly damaged by my. Or go ghost poison types are perfectly damaged by fighting moves, although I can't actually remember off the top of my head anymore if fighting is, a, is weak on poison. I thought it was, I think it is for some reason, but I don't remember it anymore. I know poison has really weird mat type matchups. It has psychic, which sort of makes sense, because like, oh, okay, the psychics can uh, think hard enough to not be poisoned or something, or their psychic ability can surpass the poison or mentally remove the poison. And grass type is okay because like, oh, you're poisoning the grass. And... Oh, hey, Leech Seed, that'll be good for an easy kill. 